Aloha and welcome to Hawaii Goes Fishing. Now there must be as many different ways to fish as there are fishermen. So in this week's episode, we get a small sampling of that variety. Ed Ebisue and Kurt Kawamoto lets us tag along as they go after some highly prized fish. We spend a quiet morning at the New Uwana Reservoir where cat fishing season is drawing to a close, possibly forever. And we join Naoki Hayashi and Wayne Miyahira for some salmon the action at Anchor Point Lodge. Vince McAngus shows Dave Lancaster how to read a tide chart in tackle tips. Chef Rodney Uihara prepares an incredible onaga dish. And Mark Kimura provides some supportive advice for trailers in Boating Basics. So don't get out of that chair. We're shoving off in a few seconds right here on Hawaii Goes Fishing. It's long before sunrise and Ed Ebisue and Kurt Kawamoto are getting ready to go bottom fishing. Well, the chickens are crowing. Yeah, I don't hear a peacock yet. The bait of choice? Squid, and lots of it. They have an ice chest full of the stuff. The sliced portions are used on the hooks. The rest are going into the polu bags. And that's bait. Ready to go. Starting 80. The depth is about 80 fathoms or 460 yeah. feet. Just went off the drop. Pretty good drift. We're drifting north at about 1.2. Yeah. <sighs> Got to get organized. With the south wind, we're drifting. Mm -hmm. Drifting at one knot. While the reels are electrically powered, the actual fishing is done by hand. With spectral line, they can feel every little bump on the bottom. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Not much current, eh, Kurt? No. I'm just trying not to get stuck. You want to come up? We come up. Let's start another yeah, drift and a little deeper. Yep. We are going straight north. Straight north. Oh, just... I'm going to start the drift uh, deep. Yeah, OK. Looks like all the baits came back. One bait's gone. Maybe there's life down there. Point five. Not drifting as fast. Maybe the Seems wind's a little not slower blowing. drift. I think the wind died a little this one. I don't know. It feels <laughs> we'll a little bit heavier than uh, uh, I would like. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't feel. Like, it's not a baka. No. Uh, okay. Kind of suspicious. <laughs> Could be a big baka too. Okay, we should see the fish pretty soon. There's the fish coming out. What is it, Kurt? I don't know. I can't see him. I knew it. Oh boy. Kampachi. 
It's an Elmaco Jack. Kahalas are nice to catch, but they're often infected with worms and ciguatera. So most fishermen toss them back. Okay, you win. <laughs> you can see. I can see. <laughs> the Kahala prize. Should have tagged it. Didn't bring my tags. Sorry. I told you it felt suspicious. <laughs> Suspiciously on Paka Lake. On a All right. That's something. Good something one. small. I don't feel like uh, maybe we shouldn't be live baiting for Kahala. <laughs> they seem to like to eat the lion. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, we're, we're interacting. Okay. Yeah, well. Sorry, get your fish up. Okay, give me some slack. Okay, got him. Oh my God. What is it? Your the buddy. yellow plague. They're down here in 80 something fathoms now in our Paka Paka grounds here. Well, at least I caught more than one. <laughs> <laughs> Popo will like this. Nice size ones though, big ones. It looks better. Yeah, it does kind of look better. Huh? Yeah. About three off the bottom right there, but a lot of fish. Let's see what it is this time. I can see it coming up right there. Oh, it looks better color. Yeah, that's good. It's brown. It's the target species. Yeah. Opaka paka. Good size to give away. We face all the fish one way, yeah? When we put in the fish. We always put it in the ice. And we face them all the same way because if they slosh around and they're faced opposite ways. The scales will catch each other and they'll scale each other. So we always put them down. And it doesn't matter if it's, you know, some guys like to pack them stomach up, some guys like to pack them, you know, back up. Generally, they're just floating in the brine, so. When it gets really full in there, hopefully by this afternoon. Ed and Kurt discover a few more hot spots here on Hawaii Goes Fishing. This portion of Hawaii Goes Fishing is brought to you by Vacations Hawaii, your non-stop Vegas connection. Ed and Kurt are starting to hook up some pretty nice fish, but the big prize is still eluding them. Ed Ebisua and Kurt Kawamoto are out bottom fishing, and the opakapaka are finally beginning to bite. 87. 87? Yeah. What's our drift speed? Drift speed is 0.3. Of course. 320. We changed direction at drift. Now we're drifting More that northwest. Way. Yeah. It's pushing us. So it's just that the winds they change. Oh. Oh, baby, fight the pole. Very suspicious. Ed and Kurt think this might be another unwanted Kahala. Oh, I lied, Kurt. Target species. All right. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh huh. The bigger one they got away. Yeah. Upaka paka about. Five pounds. Good to eat, steam, bake, sashimi, any way you like. Hidden bones, good for soup. The only thing I throw away are the scales and the guts. Was it? That's how it goes all day. Drift over the spot, pull up lines, motor back to the start, and drop the lines back down. Okay, this is the spot. Okay. <laughs> Get the X over there. One of the keys to success is making palu, <laughs> and lots of it. Yeah, we spend a lot of money on bait because we don't want to waste time. We like to palu the fish a lot. Seems like, you know, if you get them feeding, they get, they're not as cautious as usual. So when you got them really feeding on the palu, they'll bite anything. And that's what you're waiting it's for. It's kind of like wine puts them fish. in the mood. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, one fish. Ah, oh, paka. On the bag. <laughs> looks like this paka has been hooked before in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, it looks like it's been healing up. And then he didn't get away this time though. There's a lot of fish that break off when, when the weather's rough. Part of the game, lose some, catch some. Opaka Paka is good eating, but Ed is trying for the big prize, Onaga. Red line. Let's see what this bugger is. It's looking good, Ed. I think this is what we wanted. Check this out, baby. Oh, look at this one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's what we're looking for. Oh, yes. Blowing harder and harder. Oh, I don't know, Ed. <laughs> it could be hard to get down to the bottom. You like Troenka? What you think? That means we commit to being here for a while. Yeah, well, if we if we drop the anchor, we can fish. Yeah, that's true. If we don't drop, it might be really I think difficult. this wind is going to hold for a while. Yeah, I think so. 157. It went that's off all right. the other side, though. Okay, I can go down now, I guess. Yeah. We'll see where we end up. Hey, straight up and down almost. We're swinging this way. My line went under. Yeah. I keep hanging up. 159 already. Yeah. Hanafa already. That's all right. Your line is back there in the shallow. Oh. Bite. You said Hanafa already good when one. you said 159. Yeah. Feels pretty good, actually. Is it a keeper? Okay, I'll take them one at a time. That's fine. Not too big. I see it. It's coming up. It's exploding, so it's not a not a shark. Oh, a nice one. Oh, a nice market size fish. Huh? Spinning out all the palu. Well. No fish. We might see it float up someplace though. The onaga that was on Kurt's line floated off the hook. Empty hook. Well, this is going to be a challenge. Do I see it? You see him, huh? You know what? Shall we try? Yeah, go get him. After you pull up okay, your line. Okay, you watch my rig. Kurt's onaga will be worth a few hundred dollars around New Year's. Now the guys are going to try to retrieve the valuable fish before it drifts away. It's like retrieving that hundred dollar bill. <laughs> When it comes up, get my rig out of the way. Yeah. And we'll make like we're pulling the anchor. Yep. Hey, you ran him over. Went on that side. Guess maybe we can drift back down on him or what? Got him. <laughs> Yo, there we go. Retrieve from the ocean. That's like a free gaff, huh? Yeah! <laughs> All right. Came off, but he floated, so we got him. That was lucky. Score. Next on Hawaii Goes Fishing, the last roundup at the new Wana Reservoir.